Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will create an accordion animation in React Native. I was inspired by Interface Market. They build this amazing and colorful accordion animation. I will show you my way of doing it in React Native by using the transition API from React Native Reanimated and some Flexbox styling. There's no need for layout measurements or layout calculations, just pure Flexbox and transition API. So let's play the intro and jump straight into VS Code and start coding, right? Alrighty guys, so we are in VS Code here. I've created the project by using Expo CLI and I've installed the React Native Reanimated already and grabbed the data from the design and if we are going to take a look at the data, we have the background color of the category, the text color, the category uh, label, and then the subcategories list. And first thing that I would like to do is to render the items and the category text. So here inside the uh, render method, I would like to iterate over the data and get the bg color uh, category and subcategory subcategories okay and first let me uh, return a touchable opacity so touchable opacity because each category will be a button right and close the tag here and don't forget to specify a key so the category will be the key. We will also have an on press, so on press, which is empty for now, and a style. So we will apply a styles of card container. And inside this touchable opacity, we will have a view, and inside the view, a text with the category itself. And this view uh, will have a style card and for the category itself we will have a style of styles heading let's say right and hit save for now and also don't forget to apply the background color uh, on on the card itself so we'll have here an additional style saying background color is the bg and we have the categories and each category have its own background color and the same for the category we will apply the color which is coming from the data and this is uh, the um, render output of it and go to the styles here and we have the card container the card itself and then the heading and Let's start with the heading. I would like to have a font size of 38 and a font weight, font weight of 900. And then we would also like to make it uppercase. So text transform uppercase. And also decrease a little the letter spacing. So letter spacing, let's say minus two. This is looking okay and from the design we saw that each item or each category is evenly distributed on the screen height and for that usually we will use flex one but flex one by default has flex grow zero and flex grow zero or flex grow in general is saying that uh, each item should grow or should take as much space as it needs to take and in our case in the first place so let me iterate over it so the card and the uh, car container should have the flex one or let me also apply this center so finish the styling here center uh, this is saying that with flex one, 
we will have all the items evenly distributed on the screen height. But this will not allow us to grow a particular item and shrink down the siblings. And in order to do that, but also have this evenly distributed layout, we can use the flex grow. And flex grow is saying that if you as an item need to expand or you need to grow in height, you'll do it and that will shrink the rest of the siblings. If all the siblings have flex grow, I'll just grow you and shrink down the, the siblings. So instead of flex one, we'll have flex grow. By default, flex grow is zero. Okay, so now that we have this uh, beautiful UI, I will say, let me shrink down just a little bit the active opacity here while pressing the active opacity. It's 0.9, it's too dramatic, I will say, the default active opacity. And now I would also like to inside this, uh, this view, this card, I, I would like to iterate over these subcategories and display them. So I'll create a view and apply a different style, style subcategories list. And inside this, I'll iterate over the subcategories. So subcategory and I'll return a text. Don't forget to pass the key. So subcategory and subcategory here. And also apply a different style. In our case will be styles.body text. And then we also want to have uh, the, the same uh, color as we have for the main category. So color, it's the color that we've received from the data. And let me style just a little bit this body. So body, we will use a font size of 20, a line height of 20 multiplied with 1.5. And we would also like to center the text. So text align will be center. So by using flex grow, you see that each item will grow in size as much as it needs. So in our case, we have the category text and then the subcategories. But notice that now this is not, uh, uh, is not mapped to, to the screen height anymore, but it's, it's going to allow each item to grow in size as much as it needs. And check this out if I'm not applying the flex grow. This this will be just, so each item will be a uh, fixed height, will have a fixed height, and it's, it's not, uh, it's not gonna, it's not gonna allow the item to grow in size. So flex grow is the way to, uh, to uh, trick, to, it's a, it's a small trick for, for the layout here in order to achieve this kind of behavior. And what I would like to do now is whenever you press on, on this category, I would like to show or hide or toggle the subcategories, basically this view here. And I will use the set state or use state. So I will do uh, the current index and then set current index from React use state. And I will start from null, it's the uh, initial value. And with this current value, I will uh, I will say inside the on press method, I'll do set current index, the index, and we will get the index from this um, from the map method. So we have We have the background and then the index on the iteration. And with this uh, current index, I would like to toggle the view. So if the current index is equal to index or maybe vice versa, <laughs> is current index, I would like to display the view. Otherwise, I don't care about it. And now when we will press on the item, we have this uh, subcategory visible 
and more on it we would like to also toggle it if the category in our case it's beauty and it's visible we would also like to uh, hide it if uh, if you press again on it and in order to do that here on the set current index we will check if the current if the index is equal to current index i would like to set again to no, null otherwise to index and now we've we, we've created this toggle effect the missing part uh, from uh, this uh, uh, from uh, this uh, tutorial is to actually animate the state transition when the user will press on uh, on a particular category and to do that we would like to import the transitioning and transition from react native reanimated and use the use it in in our in our design so i will import the transition and also the transitioning and first i would like to define the transition itself so i will say a constant transition it's equal to a transition we would like to transition uh, the subcategories together so we will like to have a together animation and a transition in and a transition out and in between we would like to change it so transition change and for this transition in and out we would like to pass a fade type with a duration in milliseconds of 200 milliseconds let me copy paste this one here and now with this transition defined we can convert the main container view into a transitioning view and we have here the transitioning view and also close the tag this transitioning view requires multiple properties the first one is the transition which we've uh, defined here on top with this uh, together in and out basically we will uh, say hey transitioning view this is our way or this is the animation that you'd like to apply for the next state and also for the previous state and we will also like to have a ref and this ref will allow us to call some method uh, on on this transitioning view and let me create a ref here react use ref and right now i just save it and nothing will happen and that's because we didn't let we didn't inform the transitioning view hey we will change the state and please be aware of it and animate based on this transition config that i've passed it here and in order to do that we will do a ref dot current animate next transition hit save and because we've uh, we've informed the transitioning view hey we will change the state please be aware of it and animate it properly this will animate from the previous state to the new state and also will animate the mounting and unmounting of the components and this will create this effect that we have uh, we had in the first place and i think that the missing part is this view the subcategories view should have some margin top uh, just to create a little bit of the of a space here in between the category uh, and the the list itself so margin top will be 20 it's much better and just check it out without the flex grow and just apply flex one let me also apply a comma here so notice that the initial layout it's it's okay it's looking good but when i'm pressing it it's not gonna um, expand or is not gonna grow in size and shrink down the siblings so the trick was apply a flex grow and transition api basically the layout animation and this is also performant thanks to software mentioned for creating this beautiful package 
called React Native Reanimated. It made our life uh, easier using this type of animations. So I think that this is uh, this was it. You can find the source code down in the description. Other than that, I hope that you liked this tutorial. You've learned something new. If you have any problems or any issues, please leave a comment down here. I'll be happy to help you out if I can do it. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe, smash the like button, share it with your friends and see you in the next video. Bye bye guys.